Feminine Goddess, this is Cherie with PassionatePennyPincher.com and today is day four of Croptober and we are using our Slow Cooker Volume 2 box. Yes, I said Volume 2 because we have a Volume 1 that has 72 recipes in it. This one has 72 recipes. 60 of them are main dish with 12 desserts that you cook in your slow cooker. So, today we're going to make Mexican barbacoa. Um, and we're going to do some tacos at the end of the day with them. And it's going to be yummy. It's a little spicy. And I'll give you a tip on how to make it not as spicy if you have little ones or people who, if you just don't like a lot of spicy. So, I'm in my mother-in-law's kitchen today. We are in Arkansas. Woo, pig suey. Um, helping her out. She just had a shoulder replacement and she's doing great. Um, but we're here to help her out a little bit. So I hope that we're doing well with that. And I wanted to let y'all know that this big Mac Daddy crock pot, I can't turn it around because it's too heavy and I don't have enough room, but we are giving three of these away for people who purchase either slow cooker plan, volume one or volume two, this week or who have previously purchased it and it's going through tomorrow so this is an all clad slow cooker it sears it steams it slow cooks it does all the things and we're going to sear in it today so i need to get it turned on and heated up let's see to brown so i'm in a confined space so it's going to be a little bit different good morning katrina and uh, Roxanne and Rachel. Good morning from Indiana. Hey, Kim. Happy Croctober to you. It's so good to see y'all. And Cindy, alrighty. My glasses are fogging up, so we're going to get going. I've got a roast over here, so I'm going to be over here. All we're going to do is we are going to, um, this is a actually a rump roast, a calls for chuck roast. Use whatever you can get the cheapest. That's the route that I went. And that you know will get tender because some roasts just do not get tender. But I know a rump roast, a shoulder roast, and a chuck roast are all good options that will shred and get tender and work for this recipe. So we're just, we're actually going to cut this into chunks today. And I'm going to try to get, I can't really, I don't really know if I can get y'all any, uh, maybe I can do this. Let me move this back a little bit. Maybe this will work. Maybe I can just slide back and forth. I'm also using a new uh, tripod today that is hooked onto a cabinet door. So thanks, Jamie, for uh, hooking me up with the tripod. So I'm going to just cut this. It says to cut in to large chunks. This is week five. I don't know if I said that or not, but we're doing week five this week. We'll do week six, the following week seven, and then eight. And so this is our eighth year of doing Croctober. It is crazy. I can't believe it. So we're just going to cut this into some chunks. What did it say again? Large chunks. And I like to get all the fat. It needs some fat, so I'm not going to trim all of it. But I really need a bigger knife. And I couldn't find one. So um, anyway, this will be okay. I can get this. I really need to find another knife. Let me see if I can. Oh, I was trying not to do that. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can just get another knife. Ah. Okay, this is a, a Mac Daddy knife. Let's see if this one will work. I should have asked my mother in law before I started on the knife situation. Oh yeah, that's easier. This is like a hatchet. Okay, that's working great. I think y'all can see. I wish I could move. With this tripod, I just could not get it down where y'all can see as well. I am going to take that big hunk of fat off. And I'm going to take a little bit more and then when I salt and pepper this, actually, I'm just going to pepper. Um, I'm trying to cut back on my salt uh, somewhat. Now, what did I do with my pepper? I just had it. Oh, here it goes. Okay, I'm trying to do this with one hand. 
Hey Anna and good morning Belle. It's so good to see you today. So we're just going to pepper this. Can y'all see? I'm trying to be over here in the side. We're just going to give it a little bit of pepper and y'all pray I don't start sneezing because yesterday when I was peppering something I started up and when I start up I get going with sneezing. Do y'all do that? Like it's not just one or two and I have violent sneezes. So Shoot. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, we're just going to chit chat for a minute because this is not preheated. I'm going to sear this roast in this crock pot. So you can do it on a stove. Um, you know, on a stove top. But since I have this nifty crock pot, we are going to do it here. So let's just talk about, if y'all got any questions about um, any of the menu boxes while this is heating up, and honestly, if you can't do this step, you don't have to. Good morning, Gloria. You're late. I am making Mexican barbacoa. I think, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's like a spicy beef we're going to shred up, and at the end of the day, we're going to do some tacos and some corn tortillas, and I've got cilantro. I think I'm going to make some homemade guacamole. I've got some Spanish rice that's already done up that I'm just going to microwave. Uh, Kim, you purchased both crock pot boxes. Thank you so much for supporting us. That is amazing. Hey, Crystal and Mary and Ashley. Hello from Bell Buckle, Tennessee. I have never heard of that. Where is that? Y'all, this is not doing right. But we're going to go with it. We are going to go with it. I'm going to crank this baby up to 400. And see if it'll get a little bit hotter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this meat in here so I can get it out of the way. And hopefully it'll start searing. <clears throat> okay, can y'all see this? So, pretend like this is searing and making noise and stuff, and it will eventually. I'm going to move it out of the way, and I'm going to talk to y'all about these chipotle peppers. So, this is in adobo sauce. These are spicy. Like, they will set your mouth on fire. So, the recipe calls for four of them. And I think I remember when I was testing it, it was really spicy. So, I'm going to cut it to two today because I'm afraid it's going to be too spicy for all of us. So, we're going to do two. And let me show you how they are. So, they come in this sauce that is also spicy. And here's what it looks like. And so you take the peppers out and then you just chop them up. So I'm going to go ahead and just use a corner of the same cutting board that I had used. Y'all, this is really nifty. I've got my silverware right here. Like everything is right here. I can wash my hands. It's amazing. So while this is doing that, we're going to take these adobo peppers. You know what? I'm going to put the lid on. Maybe that'll start my heat up a little bit more. I was trying not to have that hot to handle it because I wanted to show y'all the crock pot and then that backfired on me. Um, why do I have two forks? Okay. Um, it calls for four. I'm doing two. Okay, so here's what they look like if you've never used these before. Like, I remember the first time I used these and I was like, what is this? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get two of them. And another tip for you is you can freeze these and use later because there are several in here and we're not going to use all of them. I cannot get that one out. Okay, there's another one. So, I think that's all I'm going to use because I think it's going to be spicy. Can y'all see this? So, I'm really going to try not to touch it. They have seeds and we're just going to chop them up and... Honestly, I think at the end, if you like, if you want to try for like mild, try two, and then at the end, if it's not spicy enough, you could just add another one. I think. I think that would be 
That would work really well. Y'all, this is doing nothing. It's doing nothing. And I'm supposed to be searing. And I cannot do anything else because I already pre-chopped my onion. So, I will just tell y'all the ingredients that you're going to need for the Mexican barbacoa. A three-pound roast, chuck roast, shoulder roast, rump roast. Um, salt and pepper to coat it. We've got a large yellow onion, just quartered. Four cloves of garlic minced. I'm going to use the already minced garlic in the jar or the squeeze of stuff. A bay leaf, the chipotle pepper, some ground cumin, oregano, some apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of water. And that is all. So then at the end of the day, I think I hear it. It might be finally going. At the end of the day, if y'all don't know about drop, putting corn tortillas in a dry skillet, you take a skillet and just heat it up to like a medium and drop a couple of corn tortillas in there. Just kind of brown them a little bit on both sides and it stiffens them up so your tacos will hold. And another tip is if, because these can get really soggy, you can take two and stack them together if you're not worried about the calories because these are like two tortillas is 100 calories so that'd be 100 calories for one taco with the tortillas but if you use one then it's 50 each so another tip okay y'all it's finally making noise can y'all hear it okay get this so y'all can see it okay so now we are rocking and rolling finally we are browning our meat, and it says to do it on all sides, but we may not do that. Oh, yeah. It is finally browning. Yay. Goodness. And you can totally skip this step if you need to, because I know this is an extra step. It's easy for me. Well, it would have been easier if I had already preheated, but it's easy for me to do it here because of this crock pot, but y'all can win one. Um, if you buy one of the slow cooker boxes. Or if you've already purchased, you will be entered into the drawing. We're going to give away three of the all clad crock pots. And they're amazing. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, also, for sharing this video, I think every day this week we've given away a $25 Amazon gift card. And we will also do that today if y'all share this video. So, thank you. We appreciate it. Alright. So, here we go. We have seared a few sides so I think we are good to go to finally start adding stuff so we are going to add our onion We've got my handy dandy onion and that is quartered I went ahead and did this last night so we're just going to drop it in here garlic we need four cloves of garlic so I'm just going to estimate and I can probably turn the browning off now I think I've got it on the slow cook now Alrighty, we're just going to go one at a time. I've got one bay leaf. And don't forget at the end when you're shredding the meat to go ahead and take your bay leaf off. That's like half, so I'm going to grab another one. There we go. And I think I need one teaspoon of ground cumin. Oh, wait, that's a right no. I love cumin. It's kind of smelly, but it really does add a lot of flavor. And we need one teaspoon of dried oregano. Sprinkle it all around. And then we need one and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And then we need fourth a cup of water, and I think that will be it. 
Oh no, we forgot the the most important part, the adobo peppers. Okay, let me make sure. We did our garlic, our bay leaf, I got the peppers, the cumin, oregano, apple cider vinegar, and water. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna slide these suckers right on into here. And this is where your heat is gonna come from. And you wanna try to get a little bit of the juice as well. In fact, what you can do is you can get a little bit of the juice, and I'm gonna do that since I only use two peppers. I'm gonna add a little bit of the juice, and that will help it out. So I'm gonna kind of stir the stuff around in here. And I feel like this crock pot is a little big. This is a seven quart, but I wanted to show y'all the fanciness of it because it's amazing. And let me put my lid on. And that is good to go. It needs to cook. Whoa, that was hot. Um, it needs to cook eight hours on low or four to five hours on high. I'm going to be doing it on low. And then at the end of the day, like I said, we're going to do our tortillas up. Um, we're going to add some cilantro, maybe some red uh, onion, what else does it suggest down here? Some lime wedges. So that is the Mexican barbacoa. So let me know if y'all have any questions and I can answer them now. Um, we are on week five, like I said, and if y'all have questions, this is slow cooker volume two. It is a bit healthier than slow cooker volume one, but I feel like slow cooker volume one has more like kind of dump meals and this one has a fair amount of dump meals in it too. Like this basically was a dump meal. But this one is a little bit more healthy. Like a little more fresh ingredients. No, or minimal cream of soups. I can't really remember if there's none. But it's, if there is, it's like maybe one or two. Um, and they're both just great. Like the slow cooker volume one has probably been that and the five ingredient box are top sellers. So we're also using our side box this week. Uh, I didn't have a side recipe to make today with this, but thinking off the top of my head in the side box, we have a whole Tex-Mex uh, category, I guess, theme. And I know there is like a layered dip in there. There's some Spanish or cilantro lime rice. That would have been good with this. I should have put that on the menu. Um, what else was on there? Oh, I think there's a, now I can't remember. I can't remember because I'm on the spot. But the Mexican side dishes are good. I think there's a bean one on there. If there's some refried beans, that's what it is. So, oh, that Kim said the jalapeno cornbread. Yes, that would be good. You could do that instead of tortillas and like serve it on top of the cornbread. That would be amazing. Or just serve it by itself. So anyway, that is it. Happy Cocktober, day four. And I'm going to get back to my day and eat some breakfast. And y'all have a wonderful day. Keep sharing the video for a chance to win a $25 gift card. And we are also going to give away one of these Mac Daddy all clad crock, put, crock pots for anyone who orders Slow Cooker 1 or Slow Cooker Volume 2. So y'all have a great day. See y'all later. Bye.